Gemini, welcome to your general reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information is down there. Personal reading information, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who bless me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for your support and your donations. It's greatly appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So Gemini, second half of August. This is a general collective reading, so may or may not resonate. Or some might, some might not. So we'll see here. I hope everybody's doing well. And we're almost done summer, so hang in there. What about another month? So... Okay, so Gemini, we could get, this is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign element or planet energy, and we'll see how that plays into your general reading for the second half of August, and if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus, and the rest of the reading, some of it may be for you, all of it may be for you, we shall see. Uh, if you clicked on the link, then there's probably something in here for you, so... We shall see. Gemini, second half of August. What kind of energy be around them for Gemini? Venus. Okay, so Venus I know is Libra. And I want to say Libra and Taurus, I think. I want to say Libra and Taurus, I think. So, you know, and Venus is the planet of love, but this is a general reading, so this could have to do with self-love and self-worth, um, having a newfound um, love and appreciation for people, places, and things around you, um, or it could be love fulfillment in some other way. Maybe it is a relationship, a new relationship, or something like that. I don't know. So we'll see how that plays into your reading for the uh, second half of August. Or it could be the energy of Libra or Taurus. Okay, so let's see. For Gemini, second half of August. What's going on? All right. Can we get an overall energy for Gemini? Second half of August, spirit, please. One card for Gemini. Second half of August, what's going on with them? What is the overall energy like for Gemini, spirit, please? Thank you so much, and I'm healing that one. Okay, so we have an Iconic Pleiades double mission, channeling, and uplifting humanity. So this is sort of like being a light worker or having some sort of gifts like that and being able to channel with divine source, with your angel team, your spirit guides, and being very channeled and tuned into that divine energy and being like a leader and uplifting uh, humanity, being very positive, having, you know, that loving, compassionate nature towards Humanity towards the earth, towards Mother Nature, animals, um, that in general. So, wow, being in that energy, Gemini. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have, wow, <laughs> now we have Priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? So, and this definitely kind of reminds me of the High Priestess, which is... Um, Libra, I think. No. Well, no, High Priestess would be Cancer or Pisces, but are you aware of your gifts, of your ability? Do you, maybe you need to look into that? Uh, because this is asking you, how are you being called to step up and lead? So, um, we had no under here, so I don't know what that means. Wait, postpone pause say no um if there's a question on your mind or something bothering you uh, 
And if it has nothing to do with this reading, I would say the answer is no. That could be just a little separate message here for some of you. <clears throat> if you're worried uh, about these gifts, or if you should, maybe, you know, if you should wait or postpone and coming forward and lead and like tuning into your gifts, maybe like being a healer or doing something here, it's probably telling you, I think like not to wait, you know, cause this is asking you, how are you being called up to step and lead? So I feel here because right under that we have answer the call. So I definitely feel like here that you need to answer the call and you, and there should be, you know, no more postponing, putting things off. What is your soul calling you to do? Answer the call. Priestess. Being, uh, channeling and uplifting. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Pleiades? I think. I don't know. So, yep. Answer the call. Priestess. And no more procrastinating and waiting, I'm feeling, in that energy. If you're feeling called to do this in some way, shape, or form... I think it's really telling you here to start answering that call. In which way are you being led to lead in some way? Okay. Gemini. Gemini. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. And that could, this all this could be separate from what we get from the tarot. So that could be just a separate message for some. I don't know. All right, so what is this energy for Gemini? What is this energy for Gemini, Spirit, please, for the end of August? Thank you so much for Gemini, 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 Spirit, please. Second half of August, can we get some clarifiers? What's going on with Gemini? All right, come on, talk to me. Oh, on the floor. Okay, so we have strength, and this is Leo energy, but it doesn't have to be. So I think you have very strong um, intuition, very strong abilities, very strong uh, connection to source here, and being able to channel and things like that. And if you're having self-doubt about your abilities, this is telling you you have very strong abilities to remain strong, to remain positive, uh, to be strong, courageous, and brave. All right, so let's see what other energy. So we have the Five of Cups, wow, and the High Priestess. So this just clarifies everything here with the High Priestess. And this is Cancer or Pisces. So Strength is Leo, Cancer Pisces here. So you could have heavy water in your chart also. Um, or maybe you have somebody around you who is a Leo, who is very strong, a very strong-willed person who supports you in some way. But here, you know, if you have been, you know, the Five of Cups is like kind of sad and lonely and hurt and loss. So if you feel like here, um, let's see what the messages I'm getting with that. You definitely have some sort of high priestess in, intuition capabilities here in some way channeling you could even be medium or something like that and maybe you know you've known this but you've always kind of ignored it and it made you feel like deep down uh, like very sad and like depressed because a high priestess knows a lot she's divinely connected but she does not s say a lot or uh, speak of her secrets and her capabilities so maybe, you know, not living in this truth here, you've been very sad and disillusioned to not being able to speak about your true gifts here. Maybe you've always kept them uh, hidden because, all right, well, we had something under there I thought would uh, be relevant, but I don't think it is. So, all right, so let's see what your actual situation is here. So now we have temperance. Well, we have the Four of Cups, exactly. And I was just thinking of the Four of Cups. And here it is. And the Fool. So your actual situation is here. Balancing out your energy. Tempering out your energy. Being divinely guided. Uh, finding that peace, harmony, and balance. 
uh, healing energy. So, you know, tempering out your energy, bouncing out your energy, healing, four of cups. So whatever, you know, and this is being very blah, like feeling very, very like discontent, disenchanted, unhappy, you know, unhappy, sad, but I don't know. It's just, you know, you're not like overly happy, but you're not overly sad either. You just, I call it my blah, blah card, but I feel like here, and that's right in the center of your spread. So feeling like very like like ugh, you know <laughs> feeling ick but I feel like you're starting to balance out your energy you're healing you're um, starting to see you know the value in living your truth is what I'm getting kind of the messages I'm getting with that um, and this may not be for everybody so but then you have the fool so here is Aquarius energy so here is starting over at zero resetting yourself you know finding all finding all your peace balance and harmony energy healing your energy coming out of this four of cups energy and now ready to reset restart at zero taking a leap of faith jumping right in here because you're feeling called to uplift humanity in some sort of way to share your gifts your knowledge uh, your abilities in some way whatever they are for you whether it is um, a healer, uh, a tarot reader, or a medium, or something like that. And no more procrastination and waiting and being in this blah energy. Now is the time to answer the call, to help heal others and uplift others that probably need your compassion and your insight and your love. And Gemini is, you know, a very truthful, honest energy. It's all about the mind. Gemini, which is the uh, plant rules the planet of Mercury, which is about the mind and communication. So let's see what your advice is now, Gemini, in this situation. So we have the Three of Swords and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, the Three of Swords here is hurt, pain, sorrow. And you know, can't speak of like third party, but what I'm getting with that is like the third party situation was probably you having to live your life in another circumstance and not living your true purpose was really killing your heart, was really killing your mind, your body, your soul, your soul's purpose. Um, but now here you are ready to take a brand new beginning here, feeling sure, steady, stable, um, grounded because you've done your healing work and balanced out your energies you're ready to start have this new leap of faith ready to come out of this hurtful three of swords energy and ready to, to be stable sturdy and grounded and build a new solid foundation in a new beginning here doing what is meant for you and the pentacles are all about growth expansion wealth abundance so if you're thinking of like starting a new business I mean your own tarot channel your own healing uh, you could even um, create like um, healing like oils and ointments and all kind of things like that I can't think of the right terminology I want to use but holistic sort of medicines and things like that um, you know so I don't know and it could be very abundant here with Ace of Pentacles. So let's see what your possible outcome could be. The Nine of Swords. So yeah, you will have some worry, uh, stress, anxiety. That's your ear energy. So, you know, I think, you know, you will probably take this leap of faith or you want to have this brand new beginning. But you have stress, anxiety, worry, nervous energy here. Um... So I don't know, let's get more clarity here. So we have the five of wands. So this is conflict. It could be inner conflict, you know, conflicting energies within yourself. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Do I just keep these gifts to myself? Or do I bring them out, out into the open? And do I stop my new purpose in life? Or you're afraid here it may cause conflict with people around you who may not agree with what you may want to do or uh, your abilities. And that could be 
what's causing you this stress and anxiety in the future. But now we have the Ace of Cups. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So this is filling out, you know, fulfilling and living out your life's mission, your life purpose. Brand new beginning in self-love, self-purpose. Here, and it's divinely guided for you. Divinely guided for you. Doing what is best for you and having that self-fulfillment and love and spirituality and faith and having that brand new beginning and living out your soul and your heart's purpose here with a lot of love and compassion and faith and harmony <clears throat> and peace. So death, so this is Scorpio energy. So I feel, <laughs> this is the first thing that came to me. It's like, you felt like because you hid this for so long, you keep, kept it deep, hidden deep down within your soul and your heart that you felt like you were dead inside because you weren't truly living out your life's purpose here. Because you go from death and um, transformation and having a new beginning, something ending, having a new beginning, transformation here to the Ace of Cups, to the Ace of Pentacles. Now, no longer wanting to feel dead inside. Now wanting to transform yourself and living out your Ace of Cup energy. And now you have the Ace of Wands. Wow. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. And now the Ace of Wands. Passionate. You, you feel very passionate about this. You're excited about this. And this is another new beginning for you. Of being very... And this is that entrepreneur energy with the Wands energy. It's very passionate, exciting. New endeavors, new projects. New entrepreneur kind of energy. Whole new beginning. Three only ace we don't have is the swords so now we have the nine of cups water energy so here's the self-fulfillment here's the happiness and joy dreams and wishes coming true dreams and wishes coming true and self-fulfillment happiness and joy so now we have the lovers gemini and that's your energy so this doesn't have to be it's a general reading and i'm not taking this as like a lover i'm just like now you're being in tune and in touch. You're choosing yourself. Lovers is about choices. It's about love. It's about soulmate energy. I feel like you're going to be so, you feel so in tune and in touch with your true self, your, your true mission, your true life, your true purpose, that um, this is a conscious choice to make that decision to align with your true higher self and live out that purpose. It's divine energy here. Whoops. So we have, you know, the five of pentacles here. Again, uh, earth energy here. Feeling lonely, abandoned, cold, neglected. Again, I feel like, like looking up to the heavens here. Like I know what my calling is, but hiding it. You know, arms crossed, blocking it, hiding it. You know, hidden away here feeling lonely abandoned left out in the cold nobody will understand me nobody will support me you know i might be abandoned by my friends and family and having fear of that with the nine of swords so four of swords here you know just spending time alone thinking contemplating resting healing again contemplating making plans uh rejuvenating retreating energy that's your energy with the four of swords but now King of Wands energy. So now being, you know, you have the Ace of Wands. Now the King of Wands is somebody who is very um, noble, they're strong, they're um, very passionate, they're ambitious, they're go-getters, they go after what they want, all that drive, passion, ambition, very successful, entrepreneurs. So being in that King of Wands energy of being the king of your domain, of what you're passionate about, being very successful. And then you have, and I just said very successful, and now you have the Ten of Pentacles. Total wealth and abundance, happy home and family, um, growth, expansion, never having monetary lack, always being abundant and prosperous. Ten of Pentacles energy. 
the page of wands. So I think you're just going to muster up all your confidence here because you had strength. So that is having the strength, the confidence, the inner determination and willpower to go after you what you want with a lot of ambition and drive and standing up for yourself and standing up to those around you. And now here's that communication with the page of wands. It's that very fiery, go-getter, ambitious kind of energy and communicating now to others. This is my life purpose. This is what I want to do, my life mission. This is what I'm doing. But also, in wow, two energies here of communication. Page of Cups, you know, being very passionate and determined, but also being very loving and compassionate also as you're probably communicating this or wanting to. And the Page of Pentacles, wow. So not only speaking with <laughs> passion, drive, and ambition, but love and compassion and peace, but also with stability and um, structure. Stability, structure. You know, saying, I know I can build a firm foundation on this and be very successful with the, with the pentacle energy. I will be abundant and prosperous. I am loving, compassionate, and peaceful. And I am determined and passionate. And I am going after what I want, which is the ten of pentacles. And I will be this entrepreneur that I want to be. Living out my soul mission, my soul purpose. No more hesitating. No more waiting or procrastinating. I'm answering the call. I'm tuning into my gifts. And I'm going to uplift humanity. Wow. Gemini. Big, big uh, shift for you here. Wow. So let's see. Gemini. 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 Second half of August. Second half of August. Guidance and advice for you for Gemini. Second half of August, please, Spirit. Second half of August. Second half of August for Gemini. Shaman, ancient healing. I cannot make this up. Ancient healing and wisdom. Wow. Shaman, which goes into the energy of high priestess, being a healer. And you probably have had this gift for many, many lifetimes. Even your ancestors probably had this, these gifts. Wow. Wow. Gemini. I cannot make that up. <laughs> wow. All right. So is there, are there any other messages for Gemini? Second half of August. Music. Harmony. So... Um, maybe somehow you will, um, intertwine music into, um, this in some way. Maybe you compose also, and maybe your music is very healing in some way, or you will use music as part of your, um, healing process. Like if you heal others. You know, maybe you may even write and compose your own music and use it for, I mean, you could even just going to be a massage therapist or something like that or meditation. And maybe you'll, you know, maybe you, you will compose your own music to meditate to or something like that. Hmm, interesting. Any other messages for Gemini? And you think, you know, is there a Native American here? And, you know, music is heavily, heavily uh, influenced in the Native culture, you know. So that could be whether music. Maybe you were a Native American in a past life. All right. Dream time. Creation. So if you're dreaming a lot, pay attention to your dreams. Write them down. Keep a pad and pen near your um, bedside. And you may be getting downloads, messages, ideas. Uh, as you move forward here through your dreams. So really pay attention to that. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Eagle here, we have communion. So, you know, so that is about, you know, coming together, um, communing with source, communing with yourself, your true self here. 
So I feel like really deciding to be in tune and in touch and really listening and paying attention to source, divine, energy, the light. Um, maybe you need to meditate more to music to get more, to refine your abilities more here and really, really pay attention to your dreams also because they may be playing a big part here of what you're going through and you're not realizing that also. Gemini, wow. Gemini, if this didn't resonate for you, uh, please check the description box below. Uh, there may be um, readings there that may resonate for you uh, more. Links are below to past uh, readings playlist. And I'd say disregard the dates. I consider them all timeless. Um, Please do, if you like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly, general, and love for all the signs, so please don't miss out on that. Good luck to you here, Gemini, whatever you decide to do, and I hope you really decide to um, live out your life's purpose because I see nothing about nothing but um, good things coming for you as you move forward in this journey. Wow, Gemini. So sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.